This funny looking model right here represents the ventricles of the brain. Okay? It's as if someone poured this gray plastic into the ventricles of the brain, let it harden, and then we pick the brain tissue off so that we can see those spaces. So let's run through some of the structures here, and I'll move this around so that we can see it better. This right here would be one of the lateral ventricles, and you can see its shape like so. The cerebrospinal fluid would flow from the lateral ventricles through this structure right here, which is the interventricular foramen, into the third ventricle, which is here. Okay? This void right here, that's where the intermediate mass would be located. Okay. But this is third ventricle around here, and you can see how the plastic migrated into the hypothalamus down here. Okay. Then cerebrospinal fluid flows from the third ventricle to the fourth ventricle through this structure right here, which would be the cerebral aqueduct. It's also known as the mesencephalic aqueduct. And that would bring cerebrospinal fluid down into the fourth ventricle, which would be, we would be able to see here okay. and here. Now this pink stuff on this model, that pink stuff is going to be the choroid plexus. And the choroid plexus is going to be the structure that would create the cerebral spinal fluid and when the cerebral spinal fluid is created it flows from the lateral ventricles through the interventricular foramen to the third ventricle through the cerebral aqueduct to the fourth ventricle and then down outside of the spinal cord and some inside the central canal of the spinal cord and then the outside cerebral spinal fluid would encompass the entire central nervous system. If you found this video helpful, click like and consider subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to visit www.humanbodyhelp.com.